He is known for his extensive travels and explorations, which took him to various countries and continents. He is recognized for his daring ascents of mountains and his ability to navigate challenging terrains. His name is Henry Russell. Henry Russell, the intrepid explorer, was born in Toulouse, France to Thomas John Russell and Marie Josephine Agli Ferdinand. His father, a papal count, had emigrated to France from Ireland to escape discrimination. Russell's thirst for adventure and discovery became evident at an early age. After completing his education at Clongoeswood College in Ireland, he embarked on his first distant voyage at the age of 23, setting sail for North America. During this voyage in 1858, Russell's exploratory spirit led him to conquer the towering peaks of the Nouvelle Massif, including the challenging ascent of Pic de Nouvelle from Bereges. His mountaineering skills were further put to the test as he successfully climbed Ardennes and made three ascents of Monte Perdido. In 1859, Russell embarked on his second voyage, which would span three years and take him across continents. His journey took him to the far reaches of the world, starting with visits to St. Petersburg, Moscow, Irkutsk, and Beijing. Crossing the treacherous Gobi Desert not once, but twice, Russell displayed his unwavering determination and resilience. Descending the mighty Amur River, Russell continued his exploration in Shanghai and Hong Kong, immersing himself in the vibrant cultures of these bustling cities. His thirst for discovery led him further south, as he ventured to the distant lands of Australia and New Zealand, uncovering the wonders of the Southern Hemisphere. Not content with his remarkable achievements, Russell set his sights on the enchanting Indian subcontinent, spending a year immersing himself in the rich history and diverse landscapes of India. His journey back to France took him through the ancient cities of Cairo and Istanbul, where he encountered the vibrant tapestry of cultures that bridged the East and the West. Henry Russell's expeditions were not only personal triumphs but also left an indelible mark on the world. His courage and tenacity in the face of adversity inspired countless adventurers to follow in his footsteps. His explorations opened new doors to understanding and connected people across continents. As we reflect upon the extraordinary life of Henry Russell, we are reminded of the profound impact his expeditions had on the world. From the towering peaks of the Nouvelle Massif to the vast deserts of the Gobi, Russell's unwavering spirit of exploration continues to ignite the flames of curiosity and inspire generations to seek out the unknown. Henry Russell, a passionate explorer, dedicated himself to the exploration of the Pyrenees. With his personal fortune and investments, he embarked on numerous first ascents, often accompanied by his trusted guides. One of his notable achievements was the first ascent of the Vignemale on September 14, 1861, accompanied by guide Laurent Passet. In 1864, Russell played a pivotal role in the formation of the Société Raymond, a society focused on the scientific and ethnographic study of the Pyrenees. Together with Charles Pack, Farnham Maxwell Light, and Emilian Frossard, they established this society in Bagners de Bigor, which continues its work to this day. Russell's love for the Vignemale led him to spend nights on its summit, even bivouacking in the open, buried under rocks and earth. Inspired by his experiences, he championed the construction of caves on the mountain, considering them to be the most aesthetic and suitable form of accommodation. Between 1881 and 1893, seven caves were built under his guidance. The first cave, named Villa Russell, was completed in August 1882 at the call of Serbalana, located at 3,205 meters. Russell himself lived in the cave for three days and later had it blessed by a priest in August 1884. Subsequently, two more caves, including the Grotte de Dames, were constructed. Russell's dedication to the Vignemale was such that he requested the concession of the mountain in 1888, which was granted to him for 99 years. When the Asu Glacier covered his original caves, Russell had three more caves, known as the Bellevue Caves, dug at a lower elevation. These caves became the venue for magnificent banquets, where he hosted princes and dignitaries, presenting himself as the Count of the Mountains. However, these caves lacked the grandeur he desired. Therefore, he had a spot 18 meters below the summit of the Vignemale dynamited to create his seventh and final cave, named Loparity. It was here that he celebrated his silver wedding, marking 60 years since his first ascent of the mountain. He concluded his exploration of the Vignemale with his 33rd and final ascent on August 8, 1904. Henry Russell's enduring legacy can be seen in the naming of Pick Russell in the Maladetta Massif, which he successfully ascended in 1865. After his passing in 1909, he was laid to rest in a cemetery in Pau, leaving behind a remarkable contribution to Pyrenean exploration. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.